Yeah. Back with another video in your city, yo. Let's go. Oh, you in mine? Which one? I'm in your city and you in my city. Which one? I don't know. Which one? It was like this. It was like geometry, <laughs> math, right. question mark, question mark. What's the square Ooh, root of seven? <laughs> oh, y'all. All right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We back with another one, man. If y'all just saw, oh. man, check out the live we just did. That was the first time going live. We live, baby. We live. Yeah. So we're going to start going live regularly. Re regularly. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Regularly. 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 But yeah. So, hey. Shout out, because I was already going to do the Planned Parenthood one with Martha Singer. But shout out to Kat. Kat drop, was the first one to drop a message. Kat, I don't know if you, uh, you know, um, you know, make sure, you know, but I know you on top of So I don't know if you, um, I have already been looking at these or what, but thank you for mentioning these to us because I was going to do a Margaret Singer, but then you got one that was a C CBN one. I was like, oh, okay, shout out. Let's go. So it's, um, Racism, eugenics, and hatred. The truth behind Planned Parenthood founder Margaret Singer. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm gonna get another light, man. My 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 lady my lady who um I bought stuff from. The guy, the lady who I bought stuff from, she 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 only had one, so we got a lightsaber back there. Y'all see our lightsaber? Yeah. Was that you? Bourbon yeah, like that. Thanks on your mouth. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Alright, let's try to get mine. You ready? Yep. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. Okay. As founder of the American Birth Control League, which later became Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger was no doubt a controversial figure with disturbing views on eugenics, race, and population control. Whilst it was called the American Birth Control League. <laughs> Is that what she said? Wait. Ooh. So you made so, so you made the league. You made the team. That's what it sounded like she said. I went pro. <laughs> That's terrible. That's cool. The league. That don't even sound right to me argue she even wanted to exterminate the black race others are trying to erase that part of her past the mike wallace interview in the eyes of some margaret sanger has been a heroine in the eyes of others she's been a destructive force in her own words sanger pushed for a society that limited births to those she deemed fit to have children i think the greatest sin in the world is bringing children into the world that have Diseased from their parents that have no chance in the world to be a human being practically delinquents prisoners all sorts of things just mock when they're born in 1916 huh? Sanger so. opened the country's first birth control clinic as a member of the American eugenics not one of them women look happy on now Look at this picture there. Look at the picture the country's first not birth this control one. clinic. Look at that picture. Yeah, they look, they look a little uh Spacey. Did the gas bomb just blow up? Is this the Civil War? Spacey. As a member of the American Eugenics Society, she advocated improving the genetic composition of humans through controlled reproduction of different races and classes. Mm. She often wrote about the issue in the journal she founded called the Birth Control Review. In 1919, writing... I personally believe in the sterilization of the feeble-minded, the insane, and the syphilitic. The most urgent problem today is how to limit and discourage the over-fertility of the mentally and physically defective. Many point to a ninth. But woman, you, you have know that? yeah, you have, and you have no control of. You are not God. I know that. You are not God. And the fetus is going to even be that before they even come into the world. So twisted. Cause it's, cause she's, I think she, she's speaking as a term from the parent. This goes this back parent to how, come from that, that. Yeah, this goes back to how they started even with psychology and testing people and doing things in the very beginning of time. When you go back and, and do your research about how psychology even started and brought over to, you know, in America, it was crazy. It was crazy. She's talking, so, she's so talking, she's trying, trying to refer to, she's talking about big, big lip negras. That's what she's trying to, what she wants to say. <laughs> that's, what I, that's, 
23 New York Times interview as proof of Sanger's racist motives, in which she referred to people as weeds, saying, It means the release and cultivation of the better racial elements in our society and the gradual suppression, elimination, and eventual extirpation of defective stocks, those human weeds which threaten the blooming of the finest flowers of American civilization. Wow. So she played God. Tried to. Human weeds. Played, not starred. Hayden Ludwig, an investigative researcher, has extensively studied Sanger's life and writings. She talked about the need for race betterment through, through controlling these weeds, basically undesirable people. In 1939, after opening another clinic in Harlem, the birth control activists launched the Negro Project, an initiative supported by black leaders, such as civil rights activist W.E.B. Du Bois. Wow. Critics claim the program used the pretense of better health and family planning for poor blacks in the South as an attempt to limit the black race. Wow. Ludwig says some on the left grapple with Sanger's past and how to interpret her legacy. They know when she writes about human weeds, they, they know that it's that it's it's repulsive. They know it's disgusting. The left will never abandon Margaret Sanger because if they do, the, she's the foundation of so many of their views. Mm. Sanger once. That's what we just talked about, mm -hmm. and a lot of other stuff go behind that too. Yeah. If you're in support of that, you support everything else. Yep. Shared her vision for a preferred race at a women's branch of the Ku Klux Klan. Right what? Her autobiography. Always, to me, any aroused group was a good group. Despite those views, liberals praise Sanger's work. While wow. it keep this telling y'all. This is what, you know, what we talked about in regards to when people know what the truth is and they still choose to go along with, you know, a way of thinking, even though it may not be the best way. But that's, if that's how they feel, then that's the way they, that's the way they go. So, I mean, what can you really say? That's why I said, when I start realizing on the on the left side, the left ain't, uh-uh. No, no, no. The Klan. And that's just still, I mean, it was, that's what the left was about. and still is in a new way. Yeah. During her history. I admire Margaret Sanger enormously. Her courage, her tenacity, her vision. I am really in awe of her. Ryan Bomberger, founder of the Radiance Foundation, says abortion proponents are working to clean up Sanger's past and what she stood for. They have to reinvent her every time they talk about her in order to justify their celebration of her. Former Planned Parenthood director Abby Johnson says those inside the abortion industry are trained to overlook Sanger's racist views. They give you an answer like, well, I mean, yes, Margaret Sanger was, was a racist, but everybody was a racist back then. Yeah. You accept it because she is your hero and she has to be your hero. You cannot question Planned Parenthood. In 1997, Stephen Mosher of the Population Research Institute wrote about the push to repackage Margaret Sanger in the Wall Street Journal. The reason I call it the repackaging of Margaret Sanger is because after uh, the Nazi regime destroyed the legitimacy of eugenics forever, uh, they then went back and said, oh, she was just an early uh, feminist. She was just an early supporter of, of family planning. No, she wasn't. Now, she was a supporter of, of giving IQ tests to people. She was in favor of using those IQ tests to determine who should be sterilized and who should have ch children. Oh. In a response titled The Demonization of Margaret Sanger, Alexander Sanger, her grandson and president. This one right here is going to be stupid. Don't make sure he don't make stupid babies. Truth. Am I wrong? Is that what she's saying? No, no, I don't know what she said, but it's gonna be smart. We need more of these babies. Well, you know, based off her actions, then that seemed like that was the direction she was going in. Planned Parenthood at the time called Mosher's editorial unfair. In the same piece, Esther Katz, director of NYU's Margaret Sanger Papers Project, claimed evidence revealing 
Sanger did not rationalize her support for birth control on racist grounds. Please. That she never advocated genocidal policies aimed at racial, ethnic, or religious groups. And that she, in fact, believed access to birth control would benefit, not eliminate minority populations. Please. Dr. Katz turned down our request for an interview. I bet. Although in this article, the editor as public authority, interpreting Margaret Sanger, she wrote, by our current highly sensitized standards, some of her attitudes and statements can be construed as racist. Please, it is, if it looks like a cat, it is a cat, period. If it looks like a dog, sounds like a dog, moves like a dog, and you see it, and it is a dog, that's what it is. But I really don't like is when people want to try to misconstrue words and make them appear differently than what they really, really mean. Cancel, Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, we're going to unplug you. Don't speak her name. Cancel, Alexa. Cancel, Alexa. Cancel, Alexa. Cancel, Alexa. Okay. We're going to get rid of that. So what I'm saying is, no, she has several minors back to back, so that's why she does that. And then you say her name, it kind of confuses her as to what to do. Crazy, right? Technology. Anyway, guys, sorry about the interruption. Um, what I don't like is when people make want to make something that's plain and as day something different from what it really is. Truth is truth. Ain't no way to try to fix it up and, and put a coat on it and put some makeup and eyeshadow and sprinkle and gar and sprinkle glitter and stuff on it to make it appear more acceptable facts are facts so this crap that this lady is saying is, is a bunch of bs yeah what it is is what it is what she stood for is what she stood for so don't try to make it seem as though it was something opposite of them what it right. was because that's not what it was like d they them oh please she. i can't stand it i can't stand it let's go elitist ethnocentric and not politically correct in 1942 Margaret Sanger's American Birth Control League became Planned Parenthood, which has moved to fulfill its founders' goals, helped greatly by the Supreme Court decision in Roe v. Wade. Under the veil of secrecy and deception, 60-plus million babies have not been born because they were aborted legally since 73. One-third of that population belong to the African-American community. A frightening and telling number given blacks make up only 13% of the U.S. population. Wow. Dan Gaynor of the Media Research Center says that Sanger's true mission remains alive and well throughout today's abortion industry. Look at the maps. See where the abortion facilities are. They are near places where people are marginalized, people are poor, people mm -hmm. are minority, and that's their, that's their target market. Generation after generation. If you so if, so if you see what he's saying is if you see the liquor store, the chicken store, the gun store right next to each other, the Planned Parenthood probably around the corner. Stop it. It ain't what you see. <laughs> we have built a better world for our daughters. Because of allies in the media and academia, Gaynor also points out how speech from conservatives and others about Sanger's past. Planned Parenthood practices and abortion oh, is often classified as hate speech. There is nothing as close to a sacrament in the media as abortion. It is it is a holy writ that, that abortion is protected. And anybody who comes out against it, any organization, any business, anybody, the media swarm. So does social media. Mola. Facebook's new oversight board, and this is really concerning, has four co-chairs and it's yes it's they're going to be the appeals board for content mm. well one of the four oversight board is on the board of a an abortion pro-abortion group there's no pro-lifers they're not there the problem also exists on many college campuses I remember at Harvard, they laughed when I was talking about the history of eugenics. And they said, you know, that doesn't matter. Planned Parenthood is not like it was during Margaret Sanger's days. Those who oppose her views say not true and are committed to exposing her past for future generations. Charlene Aaron, CBN News. Well, keep in mind, this is a serious 
matter. You're, try, you're trying to revise history to yeah. suit a political agenda and suit a political uh -huh. argument. Uh -huh. uh, the source of that story, curiously, is a group called NewsGuard, and what they are, they're self-appointed watchdogs of news organizations and obviously coming from the left. Uh, CBN News had published a series of articles on Alveda King and had quoted her accurately uh, saying that Margaret Sanger thought that black people were human weeds. Well, he came at us for that and saying you, you can't quote her accurately. You always have to put uh, a disclaimer that there's no evidence that Margaret Sanger ever used the term human weeds. And he, in turn, quoted Esther Katz, sa who said that she had reviewed all of Margaret Sanger's papers and couldn't find any evidence that she ever used the term human weeds. Well, she knows full well about that New York Times article. And what she was saying is, well, within her papers, it's not there. Oh, but within the public record, it please. is there. And so there's a, a, a conscious effort to rewrite history and, and declare her as some kind of hero that we should all look up to and ignore uh, the, the root of Planned Parenthood, which is quite clearly eugenics. Now, you go back to the title of that New York T Times article, and it says, Creating a Race of Thoroughbreds. Mm. So it's selective breeding. Uh, mm. That's what this is all about. Is. And within that selective breeding, you have to breed out what you think is undesirable. Well, in today's world, that is morally reprehensible. And you, you, you can't change that history, and you that's shouldn't right. even try to change that history. Um, I, I, I don't understand this, but here at CBN News, we want to set the record straight. Here's what Margaret Sanger really believed. It, and it's interesting because it's, it is very much like Hitler and the move against the Jews. Well, eugenics was at the core of mm -hmm. Hitler. Exactly. Mm. And, and we all recognize how reprehensible that was. But because this has political attachments to it for other other issues, other things, including this issue. I mean, it, it, people just refuse, yeah. just refuse. And, and if, you, if you doubt that there's some eugenics behind it, um, just take your own survey. Uh, in my hometown, uh, when you go out and look for the Planned Parenthood, you have to drive to certain neighborhoods to find those it, clinics. That's true. Uh, there's a reason that they place them geographically there, yeah. uh, so that they're in walking distance. Yep. Do that same test in your hometown. And then take a look at, well, where do they geographically locate these clinics? And right. then you've got to start asking the question, why? why? All right, y'all. So y'all wow. have seen that is the wow wow. And I mean, it I've learned about her. I learned about her some time ago. And what Planned Parenthood move is all about. I used to go to Planned Parenthood when I was in college, you know. And, and do what? Get birth control pills. Oh, you used to get them from there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. My mom, you know, gave me the thumbs up. She was like, and my cousin told me about it, and I was going down there and getting birth control pills. I didn't know until probably many years, I'm going to say about five years ago, maybe. What? Maybe Maybe a, more than that, that they um, were behind the abortion movement. I didn't know that. I just thought it was like about... You know, me being in college, undergrad, not knowing, going to think I'm just going to get some, you can get a, a checkup and you get birth control pills. I had no clue you go, as to babe, what as you all going, the other stuff was going on. Babe, as you going in, somebody coming out like this, <laughs> she's like, why's she crying? I'm just coming to get my pills. But, you know, you, you just, you don't know. That's why, babe, infor it's too much. That's too much. why information is so powerful. You have to be more knowledgeable about, you know, what's going on with don't that's that's what I really don't like about what's going on in our I, culture I don't, right now. I don't. I don't. Right now, and even in other parts of the world, is we want to make the truth an untruth. I want to make an untruth the truth. Somebody was going to try to make they them the sun say is he. The sun, no, the sun is yellow. No, no, it's yeah. purple. And then as, as plain as what science is defined as a color yellow. Someone's going to argue you down, and then you're going to go ahead and agree with them because you know it, knowing good and well it's yellow, but you're going to say it's purple. It's Please purple, you and you better not say it's purple. Oh, my God. Because it's actually blue. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what it was in regards to her. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That ain't it. It wasn't it. Mm -hmm. She wasn't it. And, um, mm, you can't make her be I, something that she wasn't. And I feel like everybody <laughs> everybody who supports her supports other, other stuff, and that, that ain't it either. 
So, um, I, I mean, but I just kept hearing back to back stuff about her. And this is, this has been regurgitated as far as what the little things I've been hearing and then pieces here, pieces there. So I'd see that this was factual. Yeah. So, and over in this area, you really got to drive. Like I, we got one, but it ain't a Planned Parenthood and it's like tucked off and it's, that's still a nice area. Yeah. So, I mean, but I back in Atlanta, I popped up on one, didn't know that's what that was. Like, uh, oh, oh, that's what that is. But like the man just said on Seven Hundred Club, I don't know who his name, what his name is, a mom, but um, he was like, even in his hometown where he lives, they're not in his area of the woods. No, nope. you got to go to another part of town to be able to find those particular parent parents, you know, to find to find them. So, and like you said, now. They said the Afri African American population was one third. It wasn't even them wanting the primary ones dropping off and you know going to the abortion clinic. Yeah. So yeah. that's what's let's crazy, not, man. Let's not glorify falsity, guys. Yeah. Let's 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 walk in. You know what the real truth is, and so much evidence, so so many facts, so so much documentation, really speaks to who she was truly. Let's not try to erase it and make it and put some glitter and some stars and some lipstick and eyeshadow sparkling on it to make it appear, you know, pretty behind the scenes, on, well, pretty on top of the surface. Because you take all that stuff away, you're gonna see it for what it is. Yeah. Let's 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 keep you know walking in truth. That's right, man. That's it, man. Like, that's comment, it. subscribe. Don't take a nose dive, but comment in the section below, man. We'll, we want you want some more. Um, see you on snap at you. See you on the next Back one. Stay you. tuned for some other content on on. Um, I think we're going to go Patreon, guys. I don't know. We've, we've been talking about it. We got some marriage. Well, no, no, no. Well, we got buy me a coffee. Buy me a coffee. They but can, I want they some subscription base. I, it I, is. I, 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 already, I already got them okay. set up for them. You're going to have to check it out, man. Y'all go to buy me a coffee, Sebo and Snapper, man. We have subscriptions over there. You can subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe. about new stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If y'all want some new, even if you don't, if let's say you don't subscribe, we'll do, um, you can always buy us a coffee. We'll do things. Check it out, man. I ain't going to explain Y'all got to go look over there and then you so can understand them all. what the queen says, y'all. What's if that? If the queen says Patreon, the king might have to just sit down and let the queen do her thing. Oh. Hear ye! <laughs> Hear ye! I like that show. Hey, hey, hey. All right, guys. Guillotine. Please, <laughs> get the guillotine. Stop it. But yeah. All right, y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.